Hi, I'm Alex Lifeson. I'm Getty Lee of Rush, and you're watching Dr. Heavy. And Mr. Hard. I guess part of the problem is that we need to tour a little less to keep ourselves happy and we need to spend most of our time in America. Uh, as it is, we don't even work there enough. Uh, so it's been very difficult for us to take time away to come to, to uh, Europe. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, um, the last few years uh, we've been kind of touring less and less and less because, you know, we've We've been doing it for almost 20 years, so uh, it's very difficult to keep the enthusiasm, you know, as you, you know, year, year in and year out. So, uh, but it was up until the last two tours where we started enjoying it a bit more, and uh, we started increasing the length of our tours just a little bit. So this tour is really kind of an experiment to see if we can tour America, come to Europe and go back and not go insane. very loyal fans over the years and I think a lot of it is because we played so many gigs and we considered ourselves a touring band for so many years that we built a lot of respect and goodwill from our shows and we just developed this real hardcore following and they've, they've been great to us throughout the years. Plus I think it's because we're so good looking. <laughs> Deep down inside, we really like to play rock music, and the core of our music is hard rock. Yeah. And uh, I think no matter what we experiment with, we still really enjoy to play rock. And I don't think that's ever really disappeared. There's some times where it's gotten kind of pushed to the side in our records, but it's never completely gone away. And, Since Presto, for sure, we've, we've sort of taken a step back and, as Getty said, reevaluated what the core of the band is, what the central thing is, and that we're a three-piece hard rock band. And I think that we've come around to enjoy what we do so much more now, and we feel uh, fresher about our approach to it, that it, it, uh, it's reflected in our music. I mean, these last two records, I think, are, are, are show the happiness and contentment that we feel about where we are. Yeah, I think there was a time where we were, we were kind of getting very chained to some of the, the technological things that we were using. Like we were writing a lot of songs on computer and with uh, synthesizers, and stacks of synthesizers. When we started Presto, we kind of looked at this big pile of stuff and just went, ah, <laughs> let's forget about it. And you know, we set up a microphone, our guitars, and we just kind of started writing like we did many, many years ago. I 
think we've built a lot of goodwill up. Yeah. Because, you know, we, we put a lot of effort and expense into putting on a good show. And we play a long show and we, make, we try to make sure people get their money's worth. And I think it pays off after a while. People expect a level of quality. So in a recession, when, when people aren't so sure what, if they want to spend that dollar, you know, they know, well, at least if I spend the money on a rush show, they're going to walk value. away with uh, seeing a big show. So. The significance of this is uh, for our pals, Mr. Big, I'm very happy that they're doing well right now. Um, they did our last American tour with us, and uh, you know we had a lot of fun with them. And they would uh, come on stage with us and jam. And sometimes during the show, they would come out on stage. Uh, I'm out of France. France. We might ah, need that. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. So the next place we're playing is Le Mans. Le Mans. We're gonna, we're gonna go, go for the race, and then uh, and then we'll end up in Paris, and then we'll figure it out very soon. Yes. So okay, we have a map and we have a compass, and uh, so I guess we get the hand looking at. Yeah, we got a tour of France. And this is uh, and this is a fabulous T-shirt. Two fantastic T-shirts. We got with uh, Doctor Heavy and Mr. Mr. Hart, Hart, and they refuse to tell us which one's which, but. We're going to figure out a little bit later. Oh, look, uh, dinner from England. Well, the whole thing behind the bones is there's an old expression in America where they say, roll the bones. It's like a uh, toss of the dice, and bones is just another, you know, kind of like a colloquialism, I think, thing. Uh, for the dice, same thing. Dice used to be made from ivory, traditionally, yeah. which was, you know, you could, it's not a bone really, but it's considered. I guess a bone from the elephant when they made it. But anyway, so it was basically a uh, a play on the whole rolling the bones, you know, roll roll the dice. And the whole album was basically uh, dealing with uh, you know fate and chance and the elements of uh, how the parts of your life really are so unexpected. And uh, you know, sometimes it feels as if when you make a decision in your life, it's, it's you know, it's kind of like rolling a dice and see what happens, and then you kind of move on to it. So that's kind of significant. I still think I, I did eat these in England for dinner at a restaurant. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, thank you very much. Thank Greg. you. Appreciate Merci it. Merci beaucoup.